So this video is all about how you can predict the formulae of very simple compounds. We'll go into much more detail of this in the video 4.0.4. So if you're looking for an in-depth description, then that's the video that you should check out after this one. Enjoy. So let's check out some examples. What I've got here is sodium chloride and magnesium oxide. This first one is made of sodium and chlorine. I've just changed the ending so that we know that the sodium and chlorine are bonded together. So changing it to IDE means that they are bonded together now. The same thing happens with the magnesium oxide, which means the magnesium and oxygen are bonded together. Let's check out where these elements are on the periodic table. So you can see sodium here on the left, chlorine here on the right, and if we put the two together, that makes the formula sodium chloride, or NaCl. Be really careful with your capital N's and your little a's. The temptation is to make that C a small case C, and it needs to look like a capital. The same thing happens with magnesium oxide, in that the magnesium is on the left-hand side, the oxygen is on the right. If I put those two elements together, that makes magnesium oxide, or MgO. So here's two more examples. I've got carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. You can see that both of them are carbon oxides. Both of them contain carbon and oxygen. The difference between them is that little word in the middle. So the top one says carbon dioxide, the bottom one carbon monoxide. Mono means one, kind of like mono brow means one, um, and di means two. So what that means is it means that in this top one, the carbon has two oxygens bonded to it, carbon dioxide. The way that we write this is your capital C showing carbon, your capital O showing oxygen, and a small two at the bottom showing the number of oxygens. Make sure that this doesn't look like CO big two, that's not the right notation. The bottom one is carbon monoxide, which is just carbon with one oxygen. I don't need a number in this case, it's all good. Right, here's some for you to give a go yourself. So pause the video here, have a go at these two examples. Right, let's have a chat. So, nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen trioxide. Both of them definitely are nitrogen oxide, so they both contain nitrogen and oxygen. The question is how many of each? The first one is dioxide, so that's gonna make it NO2, so two oxygens for every one nitrogen. The bottom one is nitrogen trioxide. Now, even though I didn't teach you this in the video, you probably should know that the prefix tri means three in total. So this one is NO3, nitrogen trioxide. In case you were wondering, if it's got four things attached to it, that makes it tetra, so you get carbon tetrachloride. Right, so that's all for this video. Nice and simple. If you want to go into how you deduce the formulae in more detail, check out video 4.0.4.